Hi, this is Raj. Welcome back to the ETL specialization course on SCD. Following other topics covered as part of this SCD session. What is SCD? What are the SCD types? And when to use each of these types or the techniques? And a brief introduction to my other SCD sessions. What are the prerequisites for this session? Watch my video on dimensions to understand what is dimension before understanding SAD. What is SAD? SAD stands for slowly changing dimension. When there is a need to track changes on a dimension attributes, this is because as attributes of a dimension could change slowly over time instead of on a frequent or time basis. Then there is a need to implement SAD or the storage in dimension. These tracking techniques vary based on the business requirement and thus leading to various SAD techniques or types. For example, Tracking the history of a customer address all along is important for any business, be it a retail or a pharmaceutical industry or a health or any other health domain or finance sector, anything that may be. Tracking the whole history of customer address is important. And then tracking a customer age which changes every year, that is a regular basis, right? because each year the customer age will change and that needs a different technique from that of the above. Tracking a change in staff location just by retaining previous and current details instead of the whole history of changes are kept record. So each of these example requires a different tracking technique and for implementing that we need separate or distinguished SAD techniques and hence we are going to see what are the different SAD techniques or SAD types. Following are the different SAD types which are commonly practiced in data warehouse domain. SAD type 0 which is about retaining the original value of a dimension attribute or the dimension itself and this is sometimes called the passive technique. SCD type 1 overwrite or replace the values of a dimension attribute. Don't worry you will see for each SCD type what are the corresponding examples and hands on demo in my further SCD sessions. As of now please grasp the concept of what is SCD and what are the different types which are commonly practiced in the data warehouse world. That being said, the other types are SCD type 2 which deals with adding new rows to the dimension table. SCD type 3 is about adding new columns to the dimension table. SCD type 4 is about adding new mini dimension by itself. This means we have to pick some attributes from base dimension and develop a new mini dimension. And uh, you will see like uh, each of the surrogate key that is from base dimension and the many dimension will be available in the fact table as part of this design implementation. Uh, SCD type 5 add current versions many dimension key to the base dimension and this is a hybrid approach or hybrid, hybrid SCD type. SCD type 6 which is a hybrid approach as well which deals with the combination of SCD type 1, type 2 and type 3. SCD type 7. This is again a hybrid approach which deals with a history dimension table which is of SCD type 2 and a current version dimension table or it can be replaced by a view as well. 
So these are the different acid types. Follow my other acid sessions to have a detailed understanding of each acid type along with the use cases explained. And all this will be carried out using a hands-on demo with the Pentaho Kettle tool. This is what I have for this introduction session on ACD. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it and to get more alerts. Thank you.